back again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a garland. Um, it's something I've seen um, in various different places. Um, you can use them for a wide variety of things. It's quite a decorative piece. Um, you can use various different materials, beads, anything. But I'm, today I'm going to use these materials. I've got four nice pieces of material here. Um, you can get ribbons and the material from any kind of uh, fabric shop. I've got some off-cuts bits, so they were very cheap. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by cutting the material into long strips. I'm doing them at 80 centimetres um, in length, so when you double them over, they'll be 40 centimetres drop. So here goes. We'll start off with this cream one. Now I bought half a metre of this material. I've cut some strips already. It's doubled over. And I'm just going to cut. I'm cutting them at approximately an inch width. They don't have to be really neat because the jagged edge actually makes the garland look quite shabby, chic looking. So you just need to do this with all the materials. And then do the ribbon the same length as well. Okay, so we've cut our strips of fabric and I've cut the ribbon as well, um, various um, widths but generally about an inch thick and they're all the same length, 80 centimetres. I've cut my string, I've cut it um, two metres in length and then I've probably cut an extra 15 centimetres on the end so I've got enough to tie some loops. And now I'm going to start attaching the, um, the fabric. What I, what I find easiest to do is if I find the, um, the centre and just place two heavy books on each end just to keep it tight. And then I'm working with this bit here. And then I'll just pick whatever fabric I choose. So you've got your 80 centimeter fabric, bend it in half, tuck it underneath, and then pull the fabric through. So it's just gonna hang like that. And then you can choose um, a pattern. Um, I'm just gonna do random um, bits of fabric and yeah. put them close together like that. And I'll keep doing that until I have gone all the way to the end. Okay, so I've done, um, it's less than a metre so far, and that's what it's looking like. Still got quite a bit of string left on each end. 
So I'll fill that out. It's looking um, quite pretty. And it's nice and full, which is nice. So I'll continue until I've used up all my bits of material. And then I can show you how it looks hung up. So there you have it, the finished garland. You can use any um, material. Um, they look quite nice in kids' rooms on a plain wall. Um, with lots of different um, pretty patterns and kiddie patterns. I think they also work quite well using the different textures of fabric. Um, I've got some coarse and some jersey and some satin material as well.